बाबा का शहर लखनऊ से ओ यू डोंट लुक यूरोपियन शशि थरूर फ्रॉम पॉलिटिक्स ओके दिस इज वियर्ड अ मिडिल क्लास कैन अफोर्ड इट बेल्जियम और बेल्जियम से पोर्चुगल रही है देयर इज टू मच प्रेज इन इंडिया टू हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय न्यू शो चाय पे चर्चा विद मूडी गर्ल और आज के जो हमारी गेस्ट हैं वो है नवाबों के शहर लखनऊ से वेल well, इंडिया में तो हमारी कभी मुलाकात नहीं हुई बट आज पोर्चुगल में हम करने वाले हैं उनके संग चाय पे चर्चा और इस चर्चा में हम उनसे जानेंगे उनकी जर्नी के बारे में जो कि लखनऊ से दिल्ली दिल्ली से बेल्जियम और बेल्जियम से पोर्चुगल रही है फॉर हर बैचलर्स मास्टर्स एंड पी तो हो सकता है आप में से कई सारे लोग अब्रॉड में स्टडी करना चाहते होंगे सो कीप वॉचिंग दिस क्योंकि हो सकता है कि कई सारी क्वेरीज के आंसर यहाँ पर आपको मिल जाए and one interesting fact about her she has graduated from the top constituent college of india st stephens delhi aur kai sare popular naam jaise ki sashi tharoor from politics kabir bedi and kankana sen from film industry are the alumni of this college india mein to kabhi hamari mulakat nahi hui but at portugal mein hum karne wale hain chai pe charcha to chaliye milte hain unse वेलकम टू आवर शो चाय पे चर्चा हमें चाय नहीं मिली आपके लिए तो हम शो के बाद चल सकते हैं चाय पीने के लिए थैंक यू माय प्लेजर टू हैव यू हियर तो आज हम आपसे कई सारी डिटेल्स जानने वाले हैं जो कि हो सकता है कि किसी के काम भी आ जाएंगे तो वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर योर जर्नी फ्रॉम लखनऊ टू यू नो बेल्जियम एंड देन पोर्चुगल सो अटल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट माई सर दैट आई एम फ्रॉम इंडिया and i did my bachelor's from india then i came to do my masters in europe this is the journey that i'll be talking about after i finished my bachelor's which i did it in uh, chemistry honors i wanted to uh, apply my sciences into applied sciences so i looked into food sciences forensics and pharmaceutical industry and i was basically searching for what i can do with my chemistry knowledge in order to have a um, already final product in punchy and thus when i found uh, about erasmus scholarships which are um, there in europe they fund you to do a masters program and uh, it is uh, it basically involves a lot of universities and the curriculums are also pretty good and most of them focuses on um, applied sciences and therefore i found my my subject which was in food sciences and i applied for that and that's when i got into the university in belgium my course was basically linked between belgium portugal and germany this is where i got to know my university in portugal and that's why i am portugal right now. i hope like it was a very fast summary for you to understand <laughs> how no, it's okay like but it, it, but we will be talking more in detail yeah yeah this. sure so you mentioned that there was a erasmus uh, program like, i'm not aware about it so would you like to share that uh, what exactly it is and uh, how somebody can apply for it yeah sure. these these are combined scholarships and they are offered within europe and uh, so there are different courses that you can select and these courses you apply for the course but at the same time you're also applying for the scholarship with us so when you search on google just search erasmus mundus scholarships and you will get a catalog of the different courses they are they have and you can apply for the courses itself so what would you like to say about the affordability of the masters or any higher education if somebody wants to come to europe from india do you think that a middle class can afford it uh, to study here and uh, the scholarship uh, how much like they can cover the finance so most of these erasmus scholarships they cover your entire stay and they pay for your tuition so most of them are like you invest zero rupees and you are in your own study but this is like behind sometimes you need to invest some money during especially during the visa processes but at the end of the day you get this funds back now on the other side talking about um, if you apply for a masters course which does not have these erasmus scholarships i think it depends on the country where a middle class person can afford if you don't get scholarships in uk it's a bit harder to study without uh, yeah, for yeah, a middle I class totally agree. yes for a middle class but in europe it's cheaper for instance in germany uh, tuition fees are zero zero euros so what a person needs to do is just to fund their stay and their living costs in germany 
which is mostly okay for a live, for a middle class yeah it totally person. depends you know uh, yes it's like how's the your lifestyle yes yeah, it indeed. varies person to person totally agree on it's like you are doing a mba from a private institute it's like that much more you know so uh, what was your visa process when you moved to belgium from india and uh, what what's a visa process when you came to portugal yes so this is pre covid situation so it was much faster than the times now i'm not much aware about the after covid situation and i did my visa process of belgium i had to fill a form and uh, i had to give a test in the embassy itself and i had to submit a like a n- number of documents which involved i think you can find the list of documents it involves a document from the police station a verification from your passport office and more of the bureaucratic stuff is there any you know test like ielts or toefl that is required to study yes. here so it depend those depends on the courses itself but some of the courses ask for specific tests for instance my course asked me to do either toefl or ielts and uh, i did toefl in 2019 and after that you can more or less use that toefl score for two years so it's good enough for us and is there any other requirement like score gmat or something to study what the course not, you are doing here? yes not not really those are mostly for uh, us okay colleges yes and when we are talking about the english language so i would definitely like to ask you that did you face any challenge about the language when you moved to europe because i observe that people here don't you know prefer that much to speak in english in every country having their own specific language so what was your experience yes very good question so i the thing is i when i came to europe i came to belgium and in belgium they speak three languages which is uh, so in some part of belgium they speak uh, french they speak german and they also speak dutch so mostly all the germans especially the supermarkets and common people yeah. they they know english because there are so many languages being spoken in different areas in belgium and uh, that's why for me a shift was mostly smooth because mostly everybody was speaking in english even the supermarket place or groceries item were in english so yeah that i think like in portugal it's, it's quite different because uh, everything you get in portuguese even if you are going into the local yes, supermarket yes, yes. <laughs> so yeah this is something in portugal it's very portuguese uh, oriented and what about the courses like uh, uh, when you are in college so uh, most of the people like your batchmates uh, they, they used to speak english or it was their local language did you ever face challenge to making having friends or uh, making conversation with your uh, batchmates yes so uh, i the course that i did in my masters was more of an international course i actually didn't have any dutch student or a belgian student studying with me in my masters so everybody okay. was from different countries and that was the common language that we could speak to each other but of course we had like a group of uh, spanish speaking people but we all yeah gel, sometimes gel. it's good also i think we learn different yes, languages exactly. that yes. but like i'm also keep learning few of the words from the portugal so it's always good to learn more yes, yes. and uh, did you face any other challenge like you mentioned you came in covid so maybe you faced different challenges at that time yes so i came right before covid i came in september 2019 and covid in europe like the peak started around march in 2020 and so between september to march my my life was really <laughs> nice yeah, i yeah. would say but suddenly covid happened and all of the classes became online so we could see this distance between friends and and you know in uh, general, yeah i can totally I, understand yes, this so i would say there's one point that i faced is uh, people were sometimes being um how to say more racist because now they had the reason they could yeah. say that oh you don't look european you are for sure traveling and you ah, for sure yes, could yes. have the virus so i think they gave like a reason for people to 
Yeah, be because yeah, yeah, people are coming from India, some different countries. Yes, so. yes, and and sometimes I would just look at them and and feel bad because you know <laughs> I'm like I have been here since September, <laughs> so if I have COVID, then then everybody else should have as well. Because I wasn't traveling. Like there was a case that happened with me and my friend who is from um, an, another Asian country, and we were uh, in a beach and people started like coughing at a point, and we were just like, okay, this is weird. <laughs> so something like that we experience a bit of uncomfortableness but in general it was okay the fact that the classes became online and uh, we still have had friends around to be to be normalized in this situation. but also the situation yeah, was really yeah. scary so yeah it was so for I, all i guess i guess, I, I guess when you move nothing. to a new country then definitely it yes yes exactly than, uh, exactly think, yes yeah. and most of the scare for a international student is how their parents are doing back at home so yeah, yeah like right. what are the opportunities a person can see you know after having a masters or a phd maybe uh, having in especially you know there is too much craze in india to study in abroad so if somebody is investing that much then what kind of opportunities they can expect maybe in india or maybe in europe or, or anywhere in the world yes just to add on to that right now i am starting my phd and this is why i would say even though i did a course that was more oriented to technology and most of my colleagues are now choosing to work at a company directly there are still people who are going for phd so the thing which gives these erasmus courses a plus one advantage is you can directly apply to a company and work with the company or you can go deeper into the study and go for phd courses so i would say that they really broadens your uh, horizon you have done your bachelor's study in delhi and then masters in belgium and then phd you are pursuing here in portugal so diverse so how was the experience maybe like you have friends in india who are doing their phd or masters there so if we compare both the aspects like how an indian student can see uh, you know the differences uh, if they are doing things there or here because you studied both the places Yeah. Unfortunately I don't have that experience to be a student here so maybe you can help me out here I I cannot really compare with the bachelors that I did but I have friends who are doing PhD back in India and I can compare with that and I would only say a word which is resources resources We have enough resources in Europe to be able to carry out certain experiments especially when it comes to PhD we need some specific equipment we need some specific gears that may not be available to us back in india or um, some of them are more advanced when it comes to them being in in europe although at the same time i'm not generalizing this there are some really good institutes and universities yeah, yeah. in india so uh, but for instance in my my study the the resources that i was achieving here in europe was much more than the resources i could have doing phd in back in india that's why i chose to do my phd here and there's another point which is the scholarships that you get for phd students they are uh, much more and they can afford your living easily in europe where in comparison to india we don't get much more while doing phd and what you would say about the countries like uh, because you chose uh, europe over uh, most hype countries like us canada australia people are you know dying to study there oh, so you know, you, you chose love to us. <laughs> but i uh, mean uh, at the end of the day we we need to choose like looking at also financial background yeah, yeah, and definitely. also the scholarship aids i think that the scholarship aid for students are much much more in europe as compared to in us and in canada there's always a point of um, having to spend more money and another especially in us there's a point of safety i think yeah. you uk and europe is mostly the people look at it because it's safer for a individual to carry out their work and is also good for financially stabilizing yeah so i, I totally agree like yeah, yeah because even for my career i was looking at us and at the same time i have different thoughts because having a family and grow as a family it's very important that you are yes, in a safe country i also think like in europe they give you have uh, something like uh, overall experience not just work yes, not yes. just uh, 
studies but there's also like other experiences that you get to achieve in europe which is for instance you can travel more to different countries around yeah that's a big yes, benefit yes, here that, yeah, totally in us yeah. of course in us you can travel different different states but here you can do yeah, here, the same uh, with countries one visa you can go to 28 countries yes exactly so so i think that's ever. like that also was a point for me to come i was because i really like traveling yeah especially so how your experience so far here you know how's your life in europe as a student Uh, uh my experience has been really good it's been 4 years that i've been in europe and i would say i have received enormous amount of warmth from people and friendliness and uh, i have made many friends and uh, many connections also professionally and it's been it's been amazing right i feel uh, if you especially for a girl child if you get the experience to come to europe please do that <laughs> It's it's clear really liberating. Thank you so much Shrishti for being here and giving us your valuable time. And guys, if you have any question related to the higher studies in Europe, you can ask that in the comment section and we will try to answer those as much as possible. So Shrishti chalte hain abhi chai peene ke liye. So guys, ye tha hamara pehla episode chai pe charcha ka. Agar aapko ye video informative laga ho, to ise aap aur logon ke sath share kariye. अगर कोई नहीं है शेयर करने के लिए तो वीडियो को लाइक करिए और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करिए क्योंकि ऐसे आगे बहुत सारे गेस्ट आने वाले हैं एंड इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड टू लिसन देम डू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन